Have you ever bought a brand new car, driven it for just a few weeks, and then, bam, you spot a tiny paint chip right on the hood or fender? It's frustrating, isn't it? You paid a premium for a fresh vehicle, expecting it to stay flawless at least for a while. But modern cars? Their paint seems to chip at the slightest impact, like a small rock or even a bug at high speed. Why is that happening? Is the paint worse? Or are newer cars just more fragile? Today we're diving into the real reasons why car paint chips so easily on new models. And the answers might surprise you, right here, on History of Simple Things. For years, automakers have advertised advanced paint technology, better shine, better protection, more eco-friendly finishes. And while that's all partly true, the reality is that many newer paints come with trade-offs. They look fantastic in the showroom, but in real-world driving conditions, not so much. Back in the day, automotive paint used to contain tougher chemicals, mostly lead-based additives and high voc volatile organic compounds, solvents. These older formulas were more durable, thicker, and had a longer lifespan. But they were also toxic to the environment. Today's water-based paints are safer and more eco-conscious. They're designed to meet strict environmental regulations especially in countries like the U.S., Japan, and across Europe. That's great news for the planet, but not always for your car's finish. So here's the first big reason why paint chips more easily. Modern regulations. To reduce emissions from paint shops, automakers switched from solvent-based paints to water-based systems. These paints have fewer harmful fumes, but they also tend to be softer and thinner. Imagine it like this. You're trading a coat of heavy-duty armor for a sleek, breathable jacket. It still protects you, but it's not going to handle impact the same way. When a rock hits your front bumper at 70 miles per hour, that softer water-based paint doesn't stand a chance. And to be clear, it's not that car manufacturers are being cheap. In most cases, their hands are tied. These water-based paints are required by law in many regions. They're better for workers, air quality, and long-term sustainability. But durability, that took a hit. Then there's the clear coat, the transparent protective layer that sits on top of the base color. This is supposed to protect against UV rays, bird droppings, scratches, and, you guessed it, rock chips. Older cars often had thicker oil-based clear coats that could take a beating. But newer formulations are thinner, faster to apply, and again, more environmentally friendly. Unfortunately, they're also more brittle. That means when something impacts the surface, the clear coat is more likely to crack and chip rather than absorb the shock. But it's not just the paint. It's also what's underneath it. Modern vehicles are designed to be lighter for better fuel efficiency. That means thinner metal panels, more aluminum, and even plastic in areas where steel used to dominate. These materials flex more when hit, so when a rock hits your hood, the panel gives slightly. That tiny flex can crack the paint on impact. Think of it like dropping a marble on glass versus rubber. One absorbs the hit, the other shatters. That slight give from thinner panels actually contributes to more frequent chipping. It's one of those unexpected consequences of trying to make cars more efficient and aerodynamic. Now let's talk about finish quality. Ironically, the trend toward ultra-sleek, high-gloss finishes has also made cars more prone to visible chips. These mirror-like paints are thinner and more sensitive. They look stunning, but they often lack that extra layer of rugged protection. Matte finishes, 
and textured paints can sometimes hide imperfections better, but most consumers still want that smooth, glassy showroom shine. And to achieve that, manufacturers apply ultra-fine coatings, coatings that, again, are easier to damage. Here's another interesting shift. Most modern paint jobs are done by robots, not people. These robots are incredibly precise, but they're programmed to use the absolute minimum amount of paint needed, again, for environmental reasons and cost control. Older hand-sprayed cars, especially luxury or custom models, often got a bit more paint just by default. More paint means more protection, but with robotic efficiency, there's very little excess. It's lean, it's green, but it's also more prone to damage. Another thing that's changed? How and where we drive. Modern cars are faster, quieter, and smoother, which means we're more likely to cruise at highway speeds. But at those speeds, debris hits your vehicle with more force. Even tiny rocks can act like mini bullets when you're doing 100 kilometers an hour. Combine that with softer paint and thinner panels, and, you guessed it, paint chips happen more often. Now for the big question. Can you actually protect your car from paint chips? Thankfully, yes, but it takes a bit of work. One popular solution is paint protection film or PPF. This is a clear, nearly invisible layer that gets applied over your car's paint. It acts like armor, taking the hits so your paint doesn't have to. It's especially useful on high impact areas like the hood, front bumper, and side mirrors. There's also ceramic coatings, which add a hydrophobic layer over your clear coat. While they won't stop rock chips entirely, they can make your paint more resistant to minor abrasions and UV damage. And of course, regular washing and waxing can help maintain the integrity of your paint, preventing micro cracks that can turn into full on chips over time. So the next time you spot a fresh chip on your new car, don't be too hard on yourself or your vehicle. It's not bad luck. It's not poor maintenance. It's just how modern cars are built. They're incredible machines packed with tech and innovation. But when it comes to paint durability, there's still room for improvement. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.